friends! Today we are doing UFLI Foundations Lesson 97, where we'll be reviewing our vowel teams and our diphthongs. There are two types of vowels that we'll be looking at today, vowel teams and diphthongs. But what's the difference? Just to review, a vowel team is two vowels working together to make one sound, like E and A coming together to make the sound E. This is different from a diphthong. A diphthong is two vowels coming together to make a sliding vowel sound, like O-W saying ow. We can tell it's a diphthong, a sliding sound, because our mouth changes when we say it. Ow, ow. The what my mouth is doing changes as I say the sounds. This is different than a vowel team, where if E-A were saying E, my mouth stays the same. It's making the E sound the entire time. Let's look at some of the vowel teams we've learned so far. We learned how to make the long A, A sound by using the letters A-I or the letters A-Y. Then we learned how to make long E, E, by using E-E, E-A, and E-Y. Then we learned how to make the long O sound, O. We use the vowel teams O-A, O-W, and O-E to make the long sound O. Then we learned about long I. We can make the long I sound, I, by using the letters I-E or the letters I-G-H. Then we learned the vowel team U, as in book. We learned that O-O can say U or it can say U, like in our long vowel teams that say U or U. Like O-O, we also have E-W, U-I, and U-E. Now let's look at some of those diphthongs. Now remember, a diphthong is two vowels or two letters coming together to make a sliding sound. Sometimes it might be even more than two letters, like an A-U-G-H. But it's coming together to make a sliding vowel sound, so the shape of your mouth is changing when you say it. We learned about the sound aw, as in awning. We learned that we can make the sound aw by using the letters A-U, A-W, or A-U-G-H. Then we learned about the sound e, eh, as in edge. We learned that the letters ea, while they can sometimes say e, can also say e, eh, like in the word bread. Then we learned about the diphthong oi. We learned that we can make the sound oi by using the letters oi or the letters oy, as in the word oil. Finally, we learned about the diphthong ow, as in owl. We learned that we can make the sound ow with the letters O-U or the letters O-W. Let's take a look at this word together. I see some vowel teams and um, diphthongs in there that we can find together. This is the word toilet. If we split it up into its syllables, toy let, we can see that the first syllable is an open syllable with the diphthong oi. T oi let. We know it's a diphthong because our mouth is sliding. The mouth shape is changing as we say it. Toy, let. The let has a short E vowel sound, so it's a closed syllable. And they come together to make the word toilet. Let's take a look at this word. This is the word destroy. If we break it up into its syllables, we can see that we have d and stroy. The first syllable is an open syllable. It ends in a vowel. But we don't see any vowel teams or diphthongs. We do, however, see one in the second syllable, stroy. We hear the oi sound, which in this case is being made by the letters oy since it's coming at the end of the word. De, stroy, destroy. Now let's take a look at this word. This is the word outside. If we break it into its syllables, we have the syllable out and the syllable side. Both of these are closed syllables. The first syllable, out, has a diphthong at the beginning, ow. It's mean, being made by the letters O, U. The second syllable, side, is a silent E syllable. We don't hear the E, but the I is making its long sound I because of the E at the end. Out, side. When we put them together, we get the word outside. Here we have the word downtown. 
immediately we notice that this one has two diphthongs in it. We can split it into its syllables because remember, each syllable needs a vowel sound. So we have the syllable down and the syllable town. You might notice that these two syllables actually rhyme. The syllable down has the diphthong ow, made by the letters OW in the middle, as does the syllable town. Both of these syllables have the diphthong ow in the middle. Down, town, come together to make downtown. Now let's take a look at some words. We've learned the word toilet and the word destroy. We broke them into their syllables to find those diphthongs and find those vowel teams to help us sound them out. Now let's try a new word. This is the word thousand. I can sound it out by looking at its syllables and finding my vowel teams and diphthongs. So if I were to stretch out the word thousand into its syllables, I would hear thou -send, thousand. So I would split it right there in the middle. I also see that in my first syllable, thou, I have the diphthong ow being made by the letters O-U. In my second syllable, send or sand, I have the vowel A. Thou, send, thousand. Here's the word downtown. If I split it into its syllables, down, town, I would split it here in the middle. Each syllable, as we talked about earlier, has the diphthong ow in the middle. Down, town, downtown. Let's take a look at this word. It's a two syllable word. And I see some vowel teams and diphthongs. Right here at the beginning, I see a u. And then we have a short u at the second syllable there. I'm going to split it here in the middle. We have aw, gust. August. So we see that the aw at the beginning is a is being made by the letters a u, and in this case, it's also a month of the year, so we actually capitalized it as well. Then we have this word. Again, I see a diphthong in there, the o i, and it is a two syllable word. That y at the end is going to say e. So if I sound it out, I have n oys e. Noisy. Well done. This word looks a bit intimidating, but I promise it's not. We have the diphthong A-U-G-H. Thang aw. Aw. Now we can split it into our syllables here, daw and tur, which if we put them together, give us the word daughter. Very good. So even though it looks like a really long word and we have a big intimidating A-U-G-H there in the middle, it's just saying the sound aw. Now let's take a look at this word. I see an E-A in the middle here saying eh, and we can split it into its syllables as well. Br-er-ek, brek, fest, breakfast. If we sounded out the ending by itself, we might see the word fast. But when we put it together, we recognize the word as being breakfast. With the E-A in that word saying eh. I also see an E-A in this word. And I'll split it between its syllables in the same places that we split noisy. So we have er, eh, d, red. And the Y at the end says E. Red, E, ready. Well done. Let's take a look at another word with the E-A here. It's still saying eh. I also see a digraph in here as well, the TH digraph. And we can split it between its syllables. So let's sound it out. w e v w e v e r says er, w e v er, weather. Well done. This word has an inflectional ending, so we can see that there's an ed inflectional ending here at the end, meaning that this is our base word. And within that base word, we see the diphthong oi, which we know says oi, well done. So we can split that between its syllables and we can sound it out. P oi, n, t, point, ed, pointed. Very good. Here we have an O-U working together. 
a round, round, a round. Very good, a round. That O-U is saying it sound. Ow, very good. This word also has an inflectional ending. We have that E-D ending here. And we have the O-Y working together. O-Y says, boy, very good. So we can take it one bit at a time. Eh, n, j, oi, and joy. That's our base word. Good. Then we add the E-D, enjoyed. So we went from the base word enjoy to the word enjoyed. This word has the O-Y at the end. And we can split it between its syllables. We have annoy, annoy, very good. That O-Y is saying it sound. Oy, well done. And finally, we have this word here. We can split, split it between its syllables. We have the O-U at the beginning saying ow, very good. Then we have silent E, so it's hopping back, it's making that vowel long and strong, so that I is not gonna say it's short sound, if it's gonna say it's long sound. I, very good. So we can sound it out, 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 and side, side, gives us the word outside. Outside, very good. Well done today. We reviewed our vowel teams and diphthongs.